Hello, welcome to Flourish ICT Academy. AI is everywhere, answering our questions, writing our emails, even giving us life advice. But what if I told you there are times you should never rely on AI? Today, I'm sharing the six situations when AI said can fail you, and a simple checklist to know when it is safe to ask and when to stay away from AI. Are you ready? Let's jump into it. First, when you have urgent medical, legal, or financial decisions, don't ask AI. AI can give background information, but it might be wrong, incomplete, or totally outdated. When your heads, your rights, or your money are on the line, Talk to a qualified professional, not a high. Secondly, when you have highly sensitive personal data, don't put it on AI. Never feed AI with your private or confidential details. That includes your password, your ID numbers, your business secrets. Even if the system promises privacy, the safest approach is simple. Don't share such information on AI. Those are the information that is categorized in cybersecurity as PII or SPII, meaning personal identifiable information. Such information should not be shared on AI because the AI can train with such data and make it available to the public. Thirdly, extreme time-sensitive information for breaking news, live scores, or unfolding events. AI might be minutes, hours, or even days behind. Why? AI may be trained on data that is weeks or months old, unless connected to live search. And even then, it may summarize early and unverified reports. So, if Timing is critical. Go straight to live or verified sources. And this is one of the reasons I believe AI cannot replace trending news such as Google Trends. Whenever you need an update about an event like live scores, you know, live election results, events that are going on, you know, at a speed of time, events that are going up live, don't rely on AI to get such information. The fourth one is deeply personalized or value-based choices. AI can suggest pros and cons to you, but for life-changing personal or moral decisions, nothing beats human empathy and real-world perspective. What do I mean by that? Don't go to AI to ask whether to break off a relationship or to change your religion. The next one is topic prone to misconception. Some topics are hotbed for bias and misinformation. Disputed history, for example, or conspiracy theories, unverified science. AI can accidentally repeat what is popular, not what is true. So this is another reason why you must be careful of the kind of information you feed into AI to have a feedback. And the final one we are going to be discussing today is illegal or unsafe request. Asking AI for anything that helps you break laws or harm people will not only be blocked, but even partial, seemingly innocent steps can still cause harm. For example, if you are asking AI how to make dangerous weapons or hack into a private system, AI will block requests that promote harm or break laws. But even if it does not, don't try to get around it. Safety comes first for you and for others. No matter how curious you are in learning something, if it is something that will cause harm, unsafe or illegal, don't go to AI to ask how to do it. Now, the big question is this. Should I ask AI? I want to present to you right now the quick checklist to help you decide. Number one, is it non-urgent? 
Second, is it non-confident? Third, is it stable information? Fourth, is it safe and legal? Fifth, can I cross-check it? Sixth, is it opinion-based and personal? If it is urgent, private, risky, or fast-changing, use AI as a supplement, not your only source. So, now you know the six situations when using AI could get you into trouble and the checklist to keep you safe. Which of these surprises you the most? For watching this training to this point, I have some gift for you before you go. I want to present to you right now the best AI tools by category. If you are going to use AI for legitimate tasks, there are tools that are better than other, depending on what exactly you are using it for. So let's look at them. We have the AI assistance. When it comes to AI assistance, you're going to turn to chat GPT, Grog, Claude, Gemini. Those are the tools that are very good when it comes to AI assistance. When you want to generate a video, AI, you want to generate a video and you need AI to generate the video, turn to Synthesia, Google View, and then Opus Clip. When you are generating image, you want to generate image, not text, this time around, or you want to convert text to image, then you use Chat GPT 4O or Mid Journey. Those two agents or tools are the best when it comes to image generation. Remember what I'm presenting to you, they are the best AI tools by category. There are so many tools, but we're talking about the best AI tools by category. When you are going to need an assistant for a meeting, you turn to Fatum and Nayota for that. Automation, NHN and Manos is the tools to turn to. When you need to make a research and you need an AI in your research journey, you turn to Deep Research or Notebook LHM. When you are writing, you're a content creator, and then you need AI to help you, then this is Rita and then Sudorite. Those are the best tools for that particular content writing. Then when it comes to search engine, you need AI for your search engine, you turn to Google AI mode, perplexity, chat GPT search. When it's graphic design, you need AI assistant for graphic design, turn to Canva Magic Studio or Luca. And when you need app builder and coding tools, you want to develop a website, you want to design a website from the scratch and you need AI assistance in doing that for you, then you turn to Lovable or Cursor. Those are the best two uh, available. The knowledge management, you turn to Notion, Key and A, and then Guru. When it comes to email, Offspot email writer, Fiverr, and then Shortwave are the best AI tools for that. Scheduling. You need to schedule a meeting, you are running a schedule, depending on the nature of your job, and you need AI to do that for you, then Reclaim and Clockwise are the best tool to use. When you want to make a presentation, Gamma, Copilot for PowerPoint, those are the tools to turn into in doing that. Now, I've just presented to you now, in addition to what you have learned in this video, some of the tools to turn into, how to use those tools effectively. We are going to be discussing it in another video so drop your thoughts in the comment section of this video and if this video helped you so far i'd like you to hit the like subscribe for more ai and tech safety tips and share it as well to others to stay informed now if you want to join any of our training program i will encourage you to visit our website as displayed on the screen down here okay or you go ahead and reach out to me via the WhatsApp contact number display on the screen for more training. See you in the next one.